All right, here at Media Day with Tim Bradley Jr. Tim, thanks again for having us. Um, this is a new face around this gym and seeing Teddy Atlas here, something new for me, uh, but not new for you. He's been here for, for a few months. The last time I talked to you, uh, you had just looked over film and everything with him, but now that you've been in the gym, you've been in it day in and day out, how has working with him changed you? Um, it's been fantastic working with uh, Teddy Atlas. I call him the young master. Um, he's a fantastic person. Um, Teddy is a, uh, a person that cares a whole heck of a lot about what he's doing. He's completely focused 110%. Um, since he's been here, he's, he's dropped weight, he's got in shape, he's ran every day, he's went to sleep early. I mean, he actually follows his teachings. And, uh, you know, I have a curfew, 10 o'clock. I'm in bed before 10 every single night. Um, just everything. Just it's my responsibility. It's my professionalism to get ready and to care about what I'm doing. And that's the reason why you see the change in the physique. You see that I'm, uh, I'm leaner than I have been in a long time. Um, I'm focused. I'm a lot more uh, calm, calmer now. I know what I'm doing now. I know why we're doing certain things. And uh, I know now why I made certain mistakes and, and what not to do now. So it's just, it's just way different. I'm, I'm a lot more confident now in my approach in this fight. And uh, this camp has been uh, one heck of a camp mentally because Teddy's always challenging me mentally. And like I told the other guy here before, I told him, I said, uh, Teddy wants to see how tough I really am. And not just physically, but he wants to see how mental, mentally tough I am. And that was a challenge that we set from, from the day forward, from when we started. But in five, five and a half weeks, six weeks, <laughs> it's, it's a huge change, huge change. Yeah, are you surprised with the amount of changes that you have seen in what is relatively a short amount of time compared to the fact that you've worked with Joel since you know you turned pro? Um, and at 32 years old, are you surprised at the changes and adjustments that you've been able to make at this point in your career in under Teddy, Teddy's tutelage so far? I, I think both of us are surprised by the the change and surprised by the effort and surprised by the, the my ability to be able to to take it all in and actually do it. Yeah. So um, I think he's surprised by that and I'm surprised as well myself uh, and I challenge myself every single day and uh, you know staying focused and doing what what's what's called according to plan. So um, I am surprised by it but you know Teddy says that hey <laughs> you you're eager to learn I'm going to teach you as much as I can, and within these, you know, six weeks, you've came a long way. You look different in there. You you look like you know what you're doing. You're comfortable. And he said, "Hey, man, <laughs> I want to see how really good you are. I want to see how good you can be." You know, he was like, "You've always been able to to take all this this knowledge in, but you needed someone to kind of to show you it." And that's been me. I've showed you it, and now you have that knowledge. And he's like, "Man." I'm, I'm impressed. He's, he's truly impressed with what he's seen. And a lot of people are looking for you to look impressive in this fight and think that you're going to be the one that dictates the pace. If you go in there and you box like a la Marquez fight, uh, it, could be an easy, it could be an easy night for you. Other people think if you try to mix it up like you have more recently and bring that brawler style, uh, it could be a long night. I know that Teddy has got you thinking smarter mm -hmm. in the ring, and that's something that you talked about, your mental strength. How important will it be for you to set the tone uh, come November 7th and box the kind of fight that you know you need to fight to be successful? Well, it's, it's very important. And uh, that's a key element in this fight is uh, being in control of me. And as long as I'm in control of me, I don't fear anything Brandon Reels is going to bring to the table because I know what I'm set out to do and, and what I'm supposed to do. Um, it just all boils down to me at the end of the day. Um, I take care of me. There's no, I, I'm not, there's no need to be fearing Brandon Reels. I mean, the only thing that Brandon Reels honestly is looking for is, is one punch. He's looking for one punch to land that whole night to change the ties of the fight. It don't matter Brandon Rio's strength, I'm gonna tell you his strength. His strength is to be able to endure pain. He's gonna come forward all night. He's looking for that one opportunity to hurt me and finish me. Mm -hmm. That's all he's looking for. Mm -hmm. And he's looking for a prayer, that's it. And it's my job not to give, give him that opportunity. And how do you not? 36 minutes, 36 okay. minutes, baby. 36 minutes, all, all the way through, total focus. Total domination, 36 minutes, one round at a time. That's exactly how I'm going to do it. November 7th, 36 minutes. I hope you're ready. 36 minutes, all the way through, focused. I don't know what else to say. I mean, I think you're ready to go right now. I can already tell. What would it mean to you to walk away victorious and at this point in your career with a new trainer and a new team taking a new turn? 
It'll mean everything to me. It would mean everything to my team. It'll mean everything to my trainer, Mr. Teddy Atlas. He's back. The young master is back. And we're going to prove it November 7th. Everybody that's watching, everybody that's doubting us, everybody that's full for us, I appreciate it. If you doubt me, just watch. Tune in November 7th. You're going to see a masterpiece. Thank you, Tim. Thank you.